Hey, how are you? My God, it is again very, very windy. My hair is genuinely... I don't know what's going on here. I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right. No, what the... What the fuck? No! What? The fucking wind just blew my camera off the ground. What? No! You've got all wonky now. No, camera! I'm so sorry! Oh my god, oh no! Oh... You're so muddy now. Oh no, why are you so muddy? What happened? Oh fuck, that's actually really muddy. Oh, that's so depressing. <laughs> what are the chances of that? It broke my camera. <laughs> Oops, is it? <sighs> okay, all right. How I actually tricked my brain into enjoying hard work again. Camera's not 100%, it's still a little bit wonky. I'm gonna go through two things. The only two things that I did that actually tricked my brain into really liking really hard, tough work. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The first thing that I did is I fixed my mental health. You see, I was always wondering like why different people find different things hard. Why people find some things really difficult and some people find other things really, really easy. I always wondered like why this was the case. And I realized it was because of our mental perception of things. You see, your mental perception can make things look easy or hard. And the thing is, the average mental health is shit. The average mental health is really, really shit. The thing that I did that actually helped improve my mental health was two things, meditating and gratitude journaling. Meditating like 10 minutes in the morning and then gratitude journaling, writing 10 things I'm grateful for, which takes me like five, 10 minutes in the morning has really, really helped. Meditating helps you become way more mindful and present of the current moment you're in. Helps with overthinking, stress, and just overthinking way too much. And then gratitude journaling really helped switch my mindset from a really negative thinking to a much more positive thinking. Forcing myself to find 10 things that I'm grateful for, which is a lot harder than it seems. And then the second thing that I did that helped me trick my brain into enjoying hard, tough work, was dopamine detox. I feel like this is something I've really not talked about on this channel a lot, and it's something I did, but I just haven't really like shared my experience on it. So this is actually like perfect. Dopamine detox is basically the idea of taking a big step back from cheap dopamine. And this is usually things to do with instant gratification. So eating junk food, playing video games, going on the hub, alcohol, drugs, you know, the typical bad habits. These are our cheap sources of dopamine. But the question is like, why do we even like turn to these things in the first place? And it's because our real life in the real world isn't that great. It isn't fun. So we turn to video games because that is, it's like a source of escapism to escape the reality that life isn't so great. Way too windy to like fucking record. Like, genuinely, it's fucking like 20 miles per hour winds. I'm about to fly, or <laughs> it's an Asian wilder about to take off. But if you think about that dream version of you, that future you who did everything, who did it, who didn't procrastinate, and he did everything you wanted to do, that future you who has time freedom, location freedom, has that financial freedom, his own family, his own house, goes on holidays, has all the cars that he wants. Basically, I don't know what it is, but the dream version of you who has everything, the perfect life that you want. Do you think that he turns to video games? Probably not, because video games probably don't scale in comparison to his actual real life. Obviously, I'm just using video games as an example. This works with basically anything, any of the cheap sources of dopamine. And the reason why this is the reason that we can trick our brain into basically liking hard work, camera's about to fucking fall again, it's because when we take a big, big step back from cheap sources of our dopamine, we go on a dopamine detox and we actually start fixing our mental health and we stop doing the easy things, the hard things that we're trying to do, then become the easy. If you set yourself in a month's time to be that you had to run a 3k marathon or something like that, you're gonna think, damn, that's really hard. But then the month after you set yourself a 10k, run, you're gonna then think, oh wait, 3k run, that wasn't actually too bad, that was actually easy. Even though at the time you thought a 3k run was 
really, really hard. And that's how I tricked my brain to actually enjoying hard work. I started to fix my mental perception of things. Because your mental perception, it, it can basically make things hard or easy. So I fixed my mental health with gratitude journaling and meditation. And then I went on a dopamine detox. I took a big step back from all the cheap sources of dopamine, the easy things, so that the hard things would become my new easy. Going to the gym, waking up earlier, meditating, gratitude journaling, eating healthier, all of this to get to that dream version of you whose life is better than video games, is better than junk food. He doesn't turn to instant gratification because his real life is so much better. You can genuinely reach that version of yourself. It's not going to be easy. At first, it's not going to be easy and it's going to be hard. The first week is probably going to be the most tough, but after, you'll actually end up enjoying it. And that hard will become the new easy. And that's when you got to start progressively overloading, progressively improving. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you're already subscribed, then another video will pop up in the corner. And if you like this video and this video helped you out, you should 100% click on this because this could definitely help you out as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. I'm not gonna lie, I think I was just bitching most about the weather in this video.